So here's a quick overview of our Type 4 engine. This uh, block itself actually came out of a 914. Not that it makes much of a difference. Uh, we totally uh, split the case, ground the crank, and uh, put new cam and redid everything. Um, it's a 2.1 liter, ported heads with heavy duty springs and modified seats. You can see it's got the dual the Lordos, uh, those are dual 40s. The linkage uh, we're quite happy with. It's a beautiful kit. That's the Sync Link kit. It works uh, fantastic for having both your carbs uh, synced perfectly. We have the DTM cooling shroud. This is the V2 version, so it doesn't have uh, the housing for the oil cooler. So we do have a remote uh, cooler off there to the side, and that is your C-Trab oil cooler, uh, beautiful cooler, fan pack, really like that. Probably gonna add one to the 79 Westphalia. Uh, the only issue we did have with the DTM was lining up the spark plugs. You can see we've put an aluminum plate around. Uh, it is fiberglass, you do have to drill the holes and uh, we were a little off with our first hole, so we've added those collars uh, to fix our mistake. And the ignition system, we've gone with a Mallory uh, distributor with the Unilite. Uh, this is one component of the engine I am not happy with, and I will be planning on upgrading, open to options. Uh, the Unilite actually failed on us once, the way it's held in the distributor failed, caused my engine, uh, I was on the highway going at a decent clip, obviously it messed up my timing, I had an overheat issue and I actually uh, blew a hole in one of my pistons, so that was why I'm against my Mallory distributor, I'm looking for a better setup. Uh, also, this is paired to a uh, Benko Pro Street uh, double freeway flyer tranny to help us uh, get that horsepower to the wheels. Uh, if you want to see that in action, we have also posted a video of us uh, taking her out for a spin. Okay, and in the fuel system, you can see we've upgraded to an electronic rotary pump. That's a Carter rotary pump we went with, and it's a little tricky to see, but we have gone to the stainless steel fuel line kit. Uh, very happy with that kit. However, our gauge has clouded over. It's only been in there a few months, but uh, the pressure gauge is kind of useless now. Uh, it does just look dirty, but it is clouded over. And just in case, so we're talking about the fuel system, uh, there's blaze cut installed above. Uh, old vintage VWs. I, uh, even though we replace all the fuel lines and take great care in that regard, I always add blaze cut just to make sure if there is anything that goes askew, our bus doesn't go up in flames. And last but not least, I guess, is in the back there, tucked by the fuel tank. You see a, our stainless steel uh, breather box. That's the CS, CSP breather box. We'll have to give you another shot from the underside, but we do have the vintage speed uh, stainless steel exhaust system and vintage speed uh, stainless steel headers or J tubes. Uh, Again, quite happy with products we've gotten from Vintage Speed. Thanks for watching.